Hi, this is Karen Harder-Siddle from the Omaha Alpha AMS, and I'm going to show you how to program your Midland WR100 weather radio. The first thing you want to do when you take it out of the box is to plug it into the DC jack. Um, plug the adapter into the, the wall, and then your weather radio is ready to go. However, you also want to install three AA batteries in the back. That's going to be a backup. Um, if you lose power and you don't have any batteries in there, you're out of luck. So always have batteries in your weather radio that are fresh. Right now my batteries is low, so I'm going to have to change those. I'm going to show you how to program the weather radio now. Um, first you're going to press menu, and your uh, first option that shows up on the screen is time. You press select, and then you can press the time. Right now it's 3.13 p.m. You can just arrow to the side to move it accordingly to the minutes. Now press select. Then I'm going to go up to alarm. Now this is an alarm clock feature. If you're interested in using this as an alarm clock, please consult your manual in the interest of time. Next channel. Now, the National Weather Service operates over like 95% of the country, maybe 98%, and each um, tower um, broadcasts under one of seven different frequencies. Here in Omaha, it's going to be channel 1, which is 162.40 megahertz. However, the default from the factory is channel 4, which is Lincoln. If you just come home and you plug in your weather radio and you think it's going to work, well, it will be working, but for Lincoln, and depending on how close you are to Lincoln, that's what you'll be hearing, either that or static. So I'm going to press select. In effect for the afternoon. That's Flying channel one. Continue. Two, three, four, five, the region. six. It was sunny with a temperature of 93 at Sioux City. Um, Through Friday, a few one. thunderstorms. So you could tell that channel 1 was coming in the best, and that's because it's the one that's closest to us, which is 162.40 megahertz. And that's the channel you want to keep it on. Um, however, if you decide to take this weather radio out, the batteries are, could probably last for seven days. Um, I wouldn't risk it. I'd plug it into your hotel at night or something, but um, you could take this on the road, and whichever frequency comes in best for you... Wherever you are, that's going to be the frequency that's going to be most beneficial to you. Um, right now, channel 7 operates, this isn't going to come in well at all, but this is a little map of eastern Nebraska and western Iowa, and channel 7, um, I'm sorry, channel 1, will go all the way from Dodge County in the northwest down to Fremont County, Iowa in the southeast. And if you just plug in your weather radio and let's say you get the channel right, you're still going to get warnings and watches for all of these counties. And what you don't want is that because you don't want to wake up in the middle of the night for something, you know, up in Washington County. So what I'm going to do is show you how to put in just the codes for Douglas or Sarpy County. What I'm going to do is press, I'm just, I'm going to the channel. I'll show you how I get there. Time, alarm, channel, same set, same stands for specific area message encoding, and this is where we're going to set just your county or counties. I'm going to press select. Single is like if you lived in the middle of Douglas County or in the middle of Sarpy County, single will be just fine for you. If you live on the border, you know, straddling Douglas and Sarpy or in western counties, uh, western part of the county is like near Saunders County, you might want to add in another county. Like here's multiple. Like I'm going to show you how to put in three different counties. Any is the default from the factory and that is going to give you every single county, you know, from Dodge all the way south to Fremont in Iowa. Okay, so I'm going to switch it to multiple and press select. And then there's up to 25 different channels you can put in. We really don't need that many, but some parts of the country actually do. Okay, I'm going to put in the same one. Press select. Then I'm going to enter in 031153. That is the code for Sarpy County. Then you just go through the numbers and then press select and that will store it. 
Then we can arrow up to the same channel two and put it in Douglas County, which is 031055. And then just in good measure, I put in Saunders County, for those of you who live in Western Douglas and Sarpy County. That's 031155. So right now your weather radio will be programmed for only those three counties. So if something happens in Lancaster County, you won't be waking up in the middle of the night for that. Um, same thing for you know Montgomery County, Iowa, or Pottawatomie County, Iowa. You're not going to um, be awakened with that. Let's go back. Oh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change mine to single. What single is going to do is it's only going to give me Sarpy County because that's where I live and that's all I really care about um, since I'm in the center of the county. So I'm just going to change it to single and it will automatically default to what is in channel number one, um, which was Sarpy County. But again, if you want more than one county, you have to have this on multiple. Okay, I'm going to press the menu again. Get out of here. Same set. Your next option is the alert type, L or ALT type. You have three different choices. One is voice. Um, this is the one we usually recommend um, if your weather radio is like in your living room or something. What will happen is the alarm will go off for about eight seconds and then it will switch to the voice. Um, if you want it to switch to the voice more quickly, just press weather snooze and that will make that happen and will automatically switch to the voice. But again, the alarm will only tone for about eight seconds. Okay, your other option is tone. Now, if you're going to be having this in your bedroom, um, you might consider having it on tone, um, which is just going to be the alarm constantly for maybe 15 minutes. Um, how you will turn it off is you physically have to come to the weather radio and press this weather snooze button, and then you will get the voice telling you about the hazard that is coming your way. Next is display. Um, that's only going to show up on this display. Um, you will still get these lights that will tell you if it's a watch warning or an advisory. Um, let's say you have a sleeping baby or something and you're monitoring this with your eyeballs and you know you don't want the alarm to go off, you might want to have it on display. Just remember you really want to have it on tone or voice though for the most part. Um, voice is nice if you like have dogs in the house during the day and you're not home. <laughs> you don't want the poor dogs getting all upset. So at least this way, if you're not home and the weather radio sounds off, they're only going to hear that, that tone for a few seconds before it switched, switches to the voice. I'm going to leave it on voice. And this is the test. And I just pressed weather snooze to um, stop it. Yes, to stop it. Thank you. Here, here's our little meteorologist, Nathan. Oh, he's gone now. He's our little forecaster. He loves severe weather. Poor thing. He has nothing to do with us. Okay, so there was alert test. And the next option, I think, was called the light, which doesn't really matter. Okay, so again, just to reiterate, when you get your weather radio home, you want to plug it into the DC jack, um, put fresh batteries in, you want to have it on. If you have your weather radio off, it's not going to help you any. And you should keep your weather radio plugged in all year long because you can get warnings about um, severe winter weather as well as severe weather that happens in the summer and you know spring and fall. So always yeah, keep it plugged in. Yeah, like snow warnings. That's right. Heavy snow. Yep. So the codes for the National Weather Service um, counties are on is on the National Weather Service. The same codes. You can go to just Google National Weather Service Omaha Offit, and there will be links on the left hand side of the page that will tell you what the codes are for your area. Okay, and that is it for this video because I'm out of time. Okay, bye bye, stay safe.